Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy on July 10th, new comic book day. We got a cool prize. We got a quick video. Let's get to it. Okay guys, welcome back. As always, if you want to get entered into the weekly giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe, comment, and like, and that'll get you in to win, and I'll randomize it at the end of each video. This giveaway today is X-Men, number one, one in 25. Pretty good. We'll talk about it in a minute. I'm going to get right to the program. I'm not at my house. I'm at a different house, and uh, well, my air conditioning went broke at my house, and uh, that's just great. Another, another check mark for fun, good times. Um, so let me go ahead and get going on this video. Let's go ahead and start with covers. All right, first up, we got Absolute Power Task Force 7, number one, cover B, cover D, and cover F is the foil. Action Comics 1067, the Pablo Villalobos, and the cover D borrows foil. Batman 89 Echoes, number three, cover B by Scott Forbes. That should be coming out. I don't have it yet. It, Lunar is shipping out later, so it's going to take longer to get the books. Um, but we've been waiting. I got a lot of orders that are waiting on just that book. Uh, Cobra Commander, number one, fourth print. I really like that. Cult of the Lamb, number two, the 50 copy. Deadpool, number one, the Fax Edition foil. And the one in 25. Sick. Um, Doom, number one, second print and the one in 25. Duke, number three, third print. From the World of Minor Threats, Barfly Helmet. Uh, I think that's cover B. Ice Cream Man, number 40, cover A. That's the connecting one to the other one. Uh, let's see. I skipped some here. Get Fury, number three. Gun Honey Collision Course number three cover A by Jay Hung Lee and the FOC helmet cover. Um, all the uh, for number two the uh, foils and stuff like that they're not even released yet. They're going to be out in a week or two. So keep be patient, guys. Um, everything else is already out except for those. Savage Dragon two seventy one cover A with Mickey Mouse on it. Star Wars High Republic Adventures Phase three number seven cover A. Tales of the Teen Titans, number 44, the Fax Edition foil. Turtles, 40th Anniversary Celebration, number one, cover A. And then we got a bunch of hot covers. Vampirilla, 670, cover A by Perillo. B by Eliza Chazutis. C by Cohen. And the seven copy Gundas. Vampirilla Dark Reflections, number two, cover A by Mayer. And cover B by Perillo. A lot of these books haven't arrived yet uh, to me. They're getting closer and closer to the new comic book day, except for Marvel. So I did read a bunch of Marvel. Uh, a couple notables. Green Lantern number 13, The Secret Origin of Lord Premier Tharos, Hulk Blood Hunt number one regular cover, and the Azrar cover. Batman Gotham Gaslight Kryptonian Age number two. I can't wait to read that. And Ghost Rider Final Vengeance number five regular cover. And Deadpool kills Marvel Universe. So I wasn't able to read any of those for some reason. Some weren't here yet. The other ones I didn't have enough copies. I didn't want to read your copy. So let's hit the top 10. Number 10, Spider Boy number 9, the Deadpool kills universe cover. So it says featuring at least one spider you haven't ever seen before. Well, they show spectacular Spider Duck and and Spider-Boy goes, how do you know that's not Howard the Duck? And it ended up being Howard the Duck, so they kicked him out. And also, King Bowler is a bad guy. And he gets stuck through the spider universe or whatever, and you see Baylor Briggs at the end of Earth-67. He's kind of like Peter Parker taking pictures and stuff. Number nine is Amazing Spider-Man number 53. And the Disney cover... And the 25 copy. So after reading this one, I think the next issue is going to be pretty big. Let's just put it that way. Number eight is Daredevil 11 regular cover. 
And the uh, kill, Kills cover, which is really dope. This is a good read. I'm excited. Dude, Kingpin's OP. I don't know what's going on with him. But he's got, like, superpowers. Number seven is X-Men number one. The regular cover. The J. Scott Campbell. The negative. The Momo in person is dope. And the Cobblish Wraparound. Those are the most orders. So it's actually pretty good. I was actually pretty excited when I read it. Um... They show their new home is in Alaska, and they have a building they call the factory. And uh, you see kind of the new team and stuff like that. Number six is Star Wars Ahsoka, number one, the regular cover. The Akka variant, all of those were damaged. Now, I have them all, but I requested all new replace. Basically, on the edge of every one of the Akkas right here was like scratches like indents and so it could be the whole print run i don't know but they they took my request so be patient i want to try to get you better ones if they're all like that there's nothing i can do but you know give me a couple days and the foil and the 25 copy tv cover so first appearance balen skull and his apprentice you know it's basically the tv show but first appearance in a comic Number five, I wasn't able to read from DC Vault Death in the Family Robin, number one A. And B, what happens if Robin doesn't die? It says, well, first thing Joker does. I haven't read it yet. There's a possible first appearance in there. I'm actually kind of excited to read that book. Number four was Annihilation, Annihilation 2099, number two. A Wakandan tech goddess, the new Star Lord. This was interesting. I think it's a brand new character. Her name is Amandla Australias. It's not the same character. I think they created a new character for this, so I think it's a first full appearance of a, a brand new character that's a new Star-Lord. It wasn't bad either. Number three is Ultimates number two, the 25 copy Terry Dodson. I love it. This is pretty cool. It lets you know a lot of what's going on. You see what's coming. It was a great read. Number two is Kill All Immortals, number one. I just, I liked the book. It was fun. I want to put an indie in there, so I put it in number two. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you. A lot of people ordered it. I think it's worth the pickup, and I put it in number two. And number one is Kid Venom, number one. Regular cover. 25 copy, Wills Protasio. The Foil. The Inyuk Lee. And the Negative. So... There, I think there's a bunch of new characters in this. Um, they call symbiotes Oni. I think Carnage is in there. Because uh, he doesn't have a host. They basically hunt Oni. Um, you see some interesting stuff. You see Spider-Man's mask. Um, you see Usi san Satomitsu, and Minamoto. There's a bunch of new players in this, I think. And I liked it a lot, actually, and the covers are dope. So I'm all over Kid Venom. I know you guys were, too. So let's go ahead and do the giveaway right here. All you had to do was subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks so much for your patience with the video and me and everything. Thanks so much for subscribing and all that. The winner is Budweiser Win. Budweiser Win. Send me, email me, or economicsandcomics.com. Send me your full name and address or through Instagram, Economics and Comics, and I will send you this X-Men 1 in 25. All right? I want to say thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.